Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students, uh, welcome you all to the first lecture of industrial pharmacy every class Our today lecture is about the pharmaceutical emulsion and this chapter pharmaceutical emulsion we will discuss today lecture about the pharmaceutical emulsion and formulation of pharmaceutical emulsion by completing today lecture dear students you will be able to know about the pharmaceutical emulsion different types of pharmaceutical emulsion and formulation of pharmaceutical emulsion an emulsion is a biphasic system consisting of two immiscible liquid immiscible liquids are not blendable or not mixable if we add water to oil or oil to water and want to mix it it is impossible to mix these two liquids because of the immiscible nature of these two hence another substance that is termed as emulsifying agent or a third agent that is emulsifier or emulsifying agent is added to reduce the interfacial tension between these two phases oil and water and uh, stabilize this system and uh, such type of biphasic system which is stabilized by the using of third agent that is termed as emulsifier or emulsifying agent is termed as emulsion in pharmaceutical emulsion there are two phases are immiscible liquids one is water and the second one is oil either oil or water is dispersed in the form of small droplet in the second phase that is termed as dispersion medium the dispersed phase is also termed as internal phase while the dispersion medium is also termed as external phase there is no need of confusion between these two terminologies synonymously used internal phase or dispersed phase and external phase is dispersion medium there are different bases for classification of pharmaceutical emulsion one of the base it is used in classification is based on dispersed phase as I told you that dispersed phase is also termed as internal phase if the droplet or globules dispersed is water then it is termed as water in all type of emulsion in water in all type of emulsion water droplets are distributed in the oily phase the example of water in oil type of emulsion is coat cream the external phase in the coat cream is oil oil is the external phase water is the internal phase the second class of this basin is oil and water type of emulsion in this case oil is internal phase and water is the external phase oil droplets or globules are distributed in the water as dispersion medium example of 
this class of emulsion is uh, milk is one of the most popular examples and vanishing cream shaving cream are other examples of island water type of pharmaceutical emulsion the third class of emulsion is termed as multiple emulsion in multiple emulsion there are two chances either oil and water in oil or water in oil and water in the first case oil and water is distributed in the oily phase and in the second case oil and water and oil is distributed in the water this type of emulsion is used to prolong the release of the drug that is uh, sustained release formulation is developed by this type of uh, this class of the pharmaceutical emulsion you can see figure number 1 it clearly explains the various types of emulsion on the basis of dispersed phase are on the basis of internal phase oil the internal phase is oil or water on the left side you can see the first figure indicating oil and water type of emulsion and with the oil droplets shown as yellowish color droplets are distributed in the water phase and it is termed as oil and water and in the middle the water droplets are shown as distributed in the oily phase and it is termed as water and oil type of emulsion while on the right side you can see on the top that is uh, one of the multiple emulsion water and oil and water type water and oil is in the interior shown is further distributed in the uh, water phase and the last one that is uh, below this class says oil and water and oil type of emulsion is shown in the figure number 1 these are the classes of or types of pharmaceutical emulsion on the basis of dispersed phase that which one phase is dispersed there are several other bases for example based on the size of the views which in classified pharmaceutical emulsion on the basis of size of the view pharmaceutical emulsion are classified into three classes macro emulsion first class the second class is micro emulsion in the third class there is the nano emulsion from top to bottom from macro to nano macro is a larger size droplets micro emulsion has smaller size of droplets and the smallest droplet size will be a globule size will be in the nano emulsion because nanometer is far more or less size as compared to micro and macro emulsion we can also classify pharmaceutical emulsion on the basis of routes of administration for example if we say that orally taken emulsion orally administered emulsion parenterally used emulsion are parenterally injectable uh, providing pharmaceutical emulsion or topically utilized emulsion topically utilized emulsion is uh, injection propofol is a type of emulsion orally taken we can say that famapine uh, emulsion that is orally taken emulsion in the market you can see and uh, 
medicated types of creams or ointments liniments these are the uh, topically applied pharmaceutical emulsion cream is a viscous type of emulsion that i have told you the uh, examples of the vanishing cream the cord cream or the shaving cream uh, these are the types of emulsion these are topically applied Emulsion may be classified on the basis of therapeutic classes, for example, antibiotic containing emulsion or any other type of emulsion may be used uh, for the therapeutic activity uh, and on the basis of therapeutic activity we can also classify pharmaceutical emulsion. Before going to discuss in detail the formulation of emulsion I think it is necessary to discuss a little bit about the pharmaceutical applications of emulsion either although uh, it is not included in the syllabus not is mentioned in the syllabus but uh, I think it is necessary to learn about the pharmaceutical application of emulsion or the pharmaceutical importance of emulsion but why we are going to formulate pharmaceutical emulsion the answers behind the logic is that the first reason is that there are several drugs having unpleasant taste and odor and for masking the unpleasant or unpleasant taste and odor of these drugs like castor oil or cold liver oil are the example of these uh, such uh, compounds which have unpleasant taste and odor to mask this uh, unpleasant taste it is uh, necessary to formulate in the form of pharmaceutical emulsion. The second reason or application is pharmaceutical emulsion can be used to prolong the release of drug steroids thereby providing sustained release action. Remember that I have told you in the classification of the pharmaceutical emulsion on the basis of this first page in the third class of that particular classification that is multiple emulsion I have told you that multiple emulsion is employed in the formulation of sustained delay formulation the third application is essential nutrient like carbohydrate, fats and vitamins can also be emulsified and can be administered to bedridden patients as sterile and fabulous emulsion. It means that in the form of sterile and fabulous emulsion we can provide nutritional requirements which is essential for the bedridden patient for example carbohydrates fats and vitamins. These can be provided in the form of intravenous emulsion or parenteral type of emulsion. The fourth application is provision of protection to drugs which are susceptible to oxidation or hydrolysis. In this case there are drugs which needs to be protected from the oxidation or hydrolysis emulsion is formulated emulsion is the way of the protection from the oxidation or hydrolysis and the last pharmaceutical emulsions are used widely to formulate externally used products like lotion, cream and liniment. These are the 
formulation which are externally applied and uh, the basic of these uh, formulations are they are emulsions in nature before going to discuss the formulation of emulsion first of all we should know that there are certain ingredients which are found as active pharmaceutical ingredients which is necessary for each uh, dosage form to mention the quantity of the drug on the label plan if you can uh, check any dosage form like uh, you can orally uh, you can see the you know, orally taken formulation that is uh, pharmaceutical emulsion in nature or any other dosage form you can see the active pharmaceutical ingredient may be one or more than one ingredient which is mentioned along with the name the quantity that is uh, utilized in the formulation is also mentioned for every dosage form it is necessary to mention the quantity of the API it is one it should be mentioned it is mandatory to mention the quantity along with the name there are more than one API that is active pharmaceutical ingredient responsible for the therapeutic activity of the formulation uh, it is necessary to mention along with the excipient uh, is not necessary but the active pharmaceutical ingredient are necessary in some cases like the uh, sugar free or not sugar free uh, flavor are mentioned on the label but the rest of the exceptions are not mentioned in the formulation sugar free or non sugar free are uh, necessary because uh, it is uh, uh, very beneficial for the patient or uh, for the most of the pediatric patient the uh, flavor is uh, mentioned on the formulation to use for the uh, patient acceptability is increased to mention uh, this type of the uh, flower is used in the formulation especially for the oral formulation flavors are mentioned because oral, oral taken formulation contain flavor rather than the other type of the uh, roots of administration for example flavors are not mentioned and not necessary for the uh, topical dosage form. There are several properties uh, which is mentioned as ideal properties for exception uh, which is uh, considered before selecting any exception some ideal properties include uh, there should be no interaction with the drug excipient should be compatible with the drug it is physical and chemical as well as the therapeutic compatibility should be there among the excipient used in the formula as well as the active pharmaceutical ingredient there should be non-toxic and non irritant nature of the excipient and uh, excipient should be cost effective pharmacologically and physiologically inert if it is pharmacologically active and it is not inert uh, then it uh, will influence the activity of the formulation and the excipient should also be effective at low concentration these are certain properties which is mentioned as ideal properties of excipient I have told you six properties lack of interaction with the drug these are the properties for excipient on the basis of which we can say that uh, this excipient is ideal it have ideal properties the uh, properties the first I told you that it should uh, lack interaction with the drug should lack interaction with the other excipient used in the formula it should be physically and chemically stable 
if i use it it is uh, not compatible uh, it will also cause problem if it is compatible with the engine but it is not physically and chemically stable then uh, the formulation stability will be affected so it is the need to evaluate its physical and chemical stability as well uh, non toxic and non irritant nature if i use an excipient and this excipient is uh, cause irritancy to the patient it is topically applied uh, cream and the cream cause irritation to the patient and uh, this is uh, not acceptable and it should be avoided cost effectiveness is also necessary for the excipient if it is uh, very much costly one ingredient that I have selected on the other hand I have the choice of the uh, economical and effective one I will prefer the economical and effective one rather than the very costly material and effective another property is I told you that it should be pharmacologically and physiologically and should be effective at uh, low concentration if I have the choice of two emulsifying agent one is uh, effective at 5% concentration and the second one is effective at 1% concentration the cost is almost similar then I will prefer the lower concentration as it is same effectiveness as compared to the higher concentration. 